Hey all, Luke here from iGen Entrepreneur. I just wanted to drop a really quick video because if you're selling on Amazon and you're repricing the way I see a lot of people talk about in the groups for Europe, you're probably going to be losing money on some products and on some you're going to be repricing really unnecessarily high. So I'm just going to go through one example here. I can go through in more detail. Uh, I'll touch on it at the end, but I'm going to jump straight into it. I don't want to drag this video out. The key message is pretty obvious, um, so let's get into it. So this isn't an actual product I'm selling. I don't really want to give away any free leads, but it's the kind of thing you see a lot, right? Low cost bundle. Um, yeah, you, let's just say our cost price is £2.50, for example. You might be setting your minimum 15% ROI for a repricer. Um, maybe higher, the concept's still the same. Right. So in the UK, you set your minimum price to £10.42, 15 cent ROI. Pretty simple, right? Um, to price in Europe, I'm using SAS, but it's the same concept for other things. You go down, click here, and what I'm lot, seeing a lot of people saying is price 40% higher in Europe using the Build International Listings feature. I'm not going to go into the ton of this. If you don't know, there's plenty of free guides out there. I just want to really quickly go over this concept. So if I pull up a calculator over here, and you can see 40% higher is 1463 in uh, pounds. So we need to convert that to euros. Um, I think I should show you. I think the exchange rate's about 118 at the moment. Let's have a look. Oh, 111. Wow. Okay. It's changed. 111. That's probably going to make it even worse. So to get it to euros. 1624 let's call it all right so you're you're saying 40% right let's have a look uh, and this is why when I see it in the groups it really worries me so oops if you're setting your price 40% higher for this product and you're selling it you're gonna be selling a negative 72% ROI it's crazy and how much longer does it take to just click on the drop down reprice per Europe so I mean I'm gonna guess roughly 20 oh, no, way too high 20 yeah, so like if you want sort of 50, I tend to go a bit higher in Europe. And this is a tip just because I'm trying to avoid VAT registration in Europe, doing quite a bit of sales. So uh, I prefer when I get sales in Europe to be a bit higher. Um, so you might use something like 20% if you're using 15. You might reprice it 30% to start with. I don't know. The concept is the same. Please don't just set 40% or a percentage. Um, if you're going to use something fixed, look at like £7. Uh, if, we use the con if we use that concept here, we're at £10. 50, so I've pulled the calculator back up, um, 10.45, so 10.45, um, off the top of my head, that's 20.45 times 1.1, equals 22, and you can see here, yes, you're going to be, yeah, see, you, you're covered. Um, the issue as well is on really high selling products, so say, say this was, we're buying it at £20, selling it at 70, right? Um, so, so the, say our eyes out, the, con the concept's the same. If you're doing percentage higher, um, so 70, so we've got 70, 27 cent RI here. So again, we're using the 40% the rule, which I see thrown around a lot. Times by 1.1, 178. Oh, I'm on EFN here. Um, let me switch back to pounds first. And we're going to go, say, 60. We'll try and get it to sort of, yeah, 15% RI, 50. And I should probably get more higher price to, to explain it better, but this should work. An example, so we go 100. Um, let's do this again. So we're going 50 times by 1.4 times by 1.11, 77.7. And you can see here, look, your ROI is a lot higher. And this only worsens the higher price you go. So in summary, don't use 40, like a percentage above for Europe because on some products priced low, you're going to be selling at a loss. And on higher price products, you're going to be selling too high and probably missing out on lots of sales. What I recommend, just use a simple deal analysis tool like this. It's not complicated. All you're going to do, click onto the either or any of the European marketplaces. Uh, it's the same. 
fee structure, calculate your min, uh, and set that min for across all marketplaces. Don't use a percentage. Um, that's all I wanted to say. Have a good, well, rest of your day, evening, whenever you're watching this. If this video helped you, please drop a like, um, comment and subscribe. Much appreciated. Cheers.